today we shall be talking about forecasting forecasting a regression model forecasting of a regression model or today we shall be talking about forecasting a forecasting the independent variable sorry uh, we shall be talking about forecasting the dependent variable so meaning that uh, we shall forecast a dependent variable and dependent variable which is y and compare the forecasted dependent variable with actual dependent variable which is y right so we shall forecast a dependent variable which is y and compare the forecasted dependent variable with actual dependent variable and if the gap between forecasted y and actual y is small then we can say our forecasting is good our forecasting then we can say our forecasting is good meaning that forecasting error is small meaning that forecasting error is small what is called forecasting error forecasting error means gap between forecasted y and an actual y okay gap between forecasted y and actual uh, y and if the forecasting error is small meaning that that particular estimated model meaning that that particular estimated model is good meaning that meaning that the particular particular regression line is good in other words predictive power of that regression line is satisfactory okay predictive power of that regression line is satisfactory if the forecasting error is small okay so uh, today we have uh, we have the two variable 
you can see from here one is X one is Y and our data is from 1980 to 1994 so here our data is from 1980 to 1994 that is our data out of this we shall be using we shall be using data from 1980 to 1990 for for estimated regression line and so meaning that here uh, 1980 to 1990 we also can call it sample right from 1980 to 1990 we uh, we can also call it sample Okay, and from from 1991 to 1994, we shall be using data for forecasting. And from 1990 to 1994, we shall be using data for forecasting. So uh, here, what is happening from 1980 until 1990, we shall estimate the model, what model, regression model, and from 1991 to 1994 we shall be forecasting that means only 91 92 93 94 four years forecasting and here all data are known right so we call it X post forecasting right here all data are known so we call it X post forecasting okay so we are set so far now we can estimate the model gradually so we have two variable right we can see I open as a group so this is my time series data from 1980 until 1994 right you can see the time series data right and we can estimate the uh, regression model from here that we shall do now I go to quick estimate equation then I put the variable okay but here uh, actually uh, here uh, uh, we shall be developing the auto regressive model what is called auto regressive model auto regressive model is 
like this suppose dependent variable is y and constant then x is the independent variable y lag 1 sorry minus right minus 1 is independent variable y is dependent x is independent y lag 1 is also independent that means y has come as a lag 1 y so this type of model is called autoregressive model or dynamic model they are same meaning autoregressive or dynamic model so so today well, we shall be estimating this dynamic model for forecasting okay and uh, you know so uh, so our model how to estimate it I go to quick estimate equation y c x y lag of 1 1 lag right so it has become dynamic model or auto regressive model and the data uh, we have planned we have planned the data from 1980 until 1990 right so from 1980 until 1990 we shall estimate the <laughs> regression line that we shall do first then from 1991 until 1994 we will forecast the model okay so uh, so if I uh, so everything is set you, you see the method least square method that we shall be applying to to analyze the data and so on 